is my privilege and pleasure tonight to welcome you to the first Australian International Jazz Festival. We have with us on stage, which might come as a surprise to some of you, one of our own groups, probably very few of you realise that we had such a group in existence in Adelaide, the Swinging Graduates, led by Neville Dunn. A hand for these boys, please, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to give you a little background on this band. Um, as a true jazz lover and enthusiast myself over a great number of years, uh, it has been my pleasure and privilege to work with boys such as these in Adelaide, uh, usually behind the scenes, because this word jazz uh, until recently has only come to the fore. Previously it's been sort of relegated to the back room to the boys that play music and the general public, so to speak, in many cases have a misconception of the word jazz. I'd like to pay tribute firstly to Neville and the boys for keeping a group such as this going without, uh, practically without, any financial support whatsoever. They do it for the sheer love of it, and uh, without knocking any of the boys, I, I do know that quite a few of them uh, play professionally, and as professional musicians, have to play a lot of music that they don't particularly like playing, but they've got to eat. And this group is kept together with one or two professional engagements here and there, and the rest. Now, Neville Dunn, The Swinging Graduates, and It's Sandman. Thank you. 
this time we'd like to do a number made famous by Woody Herman entitled The Preacher. <laughs> number was written fairly recently for the Herb Pomeroy Orchestra entitled Blue Grass.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Kenton has always been uh, one of our favorite bands and a composition written by Bill Holman for him we'd like to do now is entitled Kingfish. <laughs> For our last number, we'd like to do Solid Blue, and this was written for the Newport Youth Band by Marshall Brown.
Neville Dunn and the Swinging Graduates. Thank you, Neville. Earlier, I'm sure that uh, not too many people in the audience tonight realise that we had a group of this size in Adelaide. And uh, I'd like to pay tribute once again to Neville and the boys for the time, effort and work that they put into this band for very little financial return.